FNAF recently has been getting tons of news from movie leaks, new Ruin DLC teases, and a lot of debate from FNAF movie and Ruin communities as both are set to come out here in just a few months. Subscribe if you're excited for everything and as a reward, here's my snake. So for starters, let's talk about some FNAF movie news. Recently, somebody designing costumes for the movie was recently spotted creating an Instagram reel actually showing off what the costume area looks like. Now this doesn't really show us too much in particular, however we can see the artwork and whatnot that they use for the staff logos. The only thing I really found to be telling in this video is that they show these huge big cardboard cutouts of all of the main four and I saw a lot of people saying these were fan renders or something since they don't show up in the actual game but nobody has found a real source so it honestly seems like Scott actually made these renders for the movie and spread their arms out in such a way to make it easier for people to reference what they look like or how big they are and in fact I wouldn't be surprised if these were also height accurate to the real animatronics being used for the film so that way they would know what to expect before getting onto the set now for whatever reason and there's no Golden Freddy cutout or render, which is really weird since we see him all over the staff logos. And I should also mention that he was cast as a voice actor and for movement effects for the film, so he's definitely going to be in it. However, he's almost been kept as like a secret for a while now, so it just makes me more interested in what the story is going to be about. Especially since, as we'll talk about more in a minute, a lot of people think they already know who Golden Freddy is. But most importantly, the biggest thing we have revolving the FNAF movie is that recently we got an official leak of what the restaurant is going to look like as just a couple days ago this photo was posted online of some blurred out faces in front of a pizzeria that looks like this and while somewhat simple on the surface this image actually tells us a ton about the movie and what it's going to look like for starters this weird little arched area i assume is going to be the entrance to the pizza place because if we look extremely closely at the original poster we could see the same exact arch over it meaning this photo is taken right next to the entrance not to mention the exit sign here appears to line up with this theory as well we also get to see this huge wall full of notes or art or something that honestly looks to me very similar to some of the halls in FNAF 1, or maybe even the opening shot of the trailer for FNAF 2 with all the kids' drawings on the checkered wall. Which, speaking of checkered walls, there were a lot of hot opinions on this pizzeria, but they nailed this wall. It looks incredibly retro and accurate to the original, and along with the floors, this vibe fits super well. Looking a little bit deeper, we could see these little pixelated posters around the pizzeria that I assume are Freddy. I can't exactly exactly make it out but speaking overall if I'm being honest this set for me has a few problems for starters I do like that they added things like the carpet to the floors and whatnot to give it a more washed up timey feel because I think these additions look great compared to the actual FNAF 1 location anyway that is just a solid floor all the way throughout however I don't really like the design of some other things they changed like the entrance area that looks more like you're entering a castle than some rundown pizzeria you'd expect them to just have some regular normal doors and I also don't like these sporadically placed arcade machines on the left. It just feels incredibly unorganized, and maybe that's the vibe they're going for here, but it just feels a bit out of place when trying to make something a bit more realistic. Also, maybe a hot take, but I'm not the craziest fan of the purple aesthetic at all. I mean, it definitely gives off an old school vibe, and I'm sure this was intentional, but man, this pizzeria is ugly. I mean, now I could definitely see why the animatronics were so angry all the time at night. But it seems like I'm not alone on some of these complaints, as a few people on Twitter have also also shown their disliking for the set saying it looks cheap or dated but I've also seen a lot of people saying positive things and even some saying that maybe this isn't the Freddy Fazbear's pizza location and it's rather Fred Bear's family diner which is a much older location in the timeline featuring only prominently Freddy and Springlock Bonnie if I'm not mistaken in fact now that I mention it this poster in the back wall looks almost exactly like this official poster of the exact same location so maybe this theory actually makes a lot of sense also I would keep in mind this set looks like it was a work in progress at the time of the photo being taken judged by the boxes hanging around and the walls that just simply don't exist but it's crazy to actually see the restaurant in action and minor nitpicks aside this fits the vibe that they're going for perfectly also as i'm sure you guys know we just got a release date for the film and a teaser releasing on october 27th which is nice however as i discussed in my last video there was a crazy amount of debate about what this poster means for the film and also the referencing for the movie still days later people are still discussing discussing who this young child is and even who this animatronic is whether it be regular Freddy or Golden Freddy and plus if it were Golden Freddy then it would have to be the FNAF 2 model Freddy while the rest of the animatronics are supposedly the FNAF 1 animatronics so it, it's incredibly confusing especially if now they're cross-referencing different games and animatronic models it's just an absolute mess not to mention that they also revealed that FNAF 2 characters like the puppet and balloon boy are going to be in the film to some capacity suggesting maybe this is Golden Freddy after 
after all. Some YouTubers like Spam Tomium made their own good points, pointing out the tilted hat like from Golden Freddy and FNAF 2 as well, which are normally unique features to just him and show up on the poster as well. So that's another great point. But let me know your opinions in the comments below. Most polls I could find are literally like 50 50, so I can't be certain right now. But moving on from that, let's talk about some security breach ruin news, or I guess I should say unnews. Because if you haven't been keeping up, we got word from leaks that on April 6th, something was going to happen to the Security Breach TV website that originally displayed the Freddy and Friends on Tour series teasing the initial game. And this was backed up when the site would accidentally randomly update, showing us a real Security Breach Ruin teaser, with the dates April 6th and April 13th being found in the source code. So looking at today's date, you might be wondering, well, what happened on April 6th? And the answer to that question is absolutely nothing. Yep, going to Security Breach TV today still literally reveals to us nothing, and the source code showing us this tease has since been deleted, so what in the world happened? Well, to be honest, I can't be exactly sure. The running theory for me is that maybe they didn't actually mean to leak the website to us at all originally, and so in panic from the leak, they just decided to delay everything to keep people thrown off and still theorizing to keep up the speculation until it releases. Or maybe April 6th was the original date that this teaser was meant to release to us, and they just decided that since the cat was out of the bag already, there was no need to reveal it until April 13th. I can't exactly be sure. But it's not like the developers are just completely ignoring this news. As on the same day, April 6th, Steel Wool did tweet, but they were just announcing that they hired Sauce, the person who makes the insanely accurate IRL animatronics. And also on the same day, the executive producer at Steel Wool, Ray McCaffrey, has been making some hints of his own. As on the day, a bunch of people would tweet at him photos of the Security Beach Ruin teaser, I guess hoping to get some sort of response. And funny enough, he was actually liking all of the replies of this teaser on his Twitter, so he 100% knows that it exists to some extent, and is even leaning into some of the mystery himself. In fact, somebody even tweeted at him saying, I love how Ray McCaffrey is giving likes to every reply to his tweet from the people asking for Ruin and the Ruin TV site. It means he is laughing at us, to which he just replied, I'm laughing with you. So now I'm just completely confused. Was Ruin TV delayed? Was this guy playing a big joke on us? Does he even know what's going on and is just watching the community burn from the sidelines? I genuinely don't know, and for now, all we can really do is theorize on what this can mean. Maybe Ruin is going to have some announcement here in a few days when April 13th comes around. Or maybe this was all some sort of late, sick April Fool's Day joke. I can't say for sure. But I guess on April 13th, we will find out. I mean, we do still have this mysterious Security Breach unnamed TV series we found on IMDb that reveals to us a bunch of amazing characters, such as Elsie Lovelock as Mommy Longlegs and Debbie Derryberry as Chica's Magical Rainbow. That's obviously a joke, by the way. Those are all fake. The last thing I wanted to mention is that Ray also gave us a very minor Ruin update, just simply saying that the development was going well. It doesn't really tell us too much about the Ruin DLC or what is going on with the whole teaser situation. However, it's still nice to see that they're on schedule. But we'll just have to wait and see what all of this is for. It seems like we're getting a ton of news that's eventually going to combine to mean something all pretty big here soon. And to get it all as it happens, subscribe here to get that news and peace.